Police say carbon monoxide may be to blame for two deaths at a North Carolina hotel. This happened at a Best Western in Asheville. The two victims were found dead in a room. And this happens more often than you may think. The North Carolina Department of Insurance estimates more than 400 people are killed and 21,000 are sent to emergency rooms nationwide every year because of carbon monoxide poisonings. NBC Charlotte's Brooke Katz live at five with what you need to know to stay safe. So scary to think about this, Brooke. It really is, Sarah, and you can't see it. You can't smell it. That is part of what makes this poisonous gas so dangerous. Carbon monoxide now blamed for two deaths at an Asheville hotel. It happened at the Best Western. 28-year-old Jacob Galloway and 39-year-old James Landreth were found dead in a room on June 9th while in town for a rugby tournament. Investigators say a pipe burst in the utility room in the floor below and the exhaust wasn't able to vent to the outside. You may remember back in 2013, three people died at a Best Western Hotel in Boone from carbon monoxide poisoning. Shortly after that, it became law to have detectors in hotel rooms, but there are loopholes. The state doesn't require one in every room, only in strategic places, but it does require hotels to report that detectors are working properly. That's why experts say it's important to take safety into your own hands. As a renter of a hotel room, you can always ask to see their inspection records for their fire alarms, their sprinklers, and their alarms, and they're required to show them to you. Or at that point, if they won't, maybe it's time to move on to another hotel or motel. Another option, consider investing in a portable carbon monoxide detector or a meter. I personally travel with both of them and put them out at the door um, when I travel, but that's just me because this is what I do. The cure for CO2 poisoning is getting outside and getting fresh air. The problem is it can be very difficult to know when there is a problem because the symptoms can be so vague. So if you are feeling symptoms like dizziness, headache, nausea, or even just an off kind of feeling, it's best to get outside and breathe in some fresh air. Reporting live in West Charlotte, Brooke Katz, NBC Charlotte.